And welcome back, fabulous fourth graders, math wizards, that you are, math masters, excuse me, the third graders are math wizards. We're going to do our problem set, but uh, Mr. Lincoln wants to make sure he doesn't go too long, so I'm going to get my timer that will ensure me that this lesson stays at 10 minutes or under, okay? I know you can do 10 minutes. You are such brilliant students. So here we go. Problem set. We're taking out a problem set book and you're turning to page. Um, Mr. Lincoln's going to remember his reading glasses one day. Page 33. Today's date is 08 27 2020. And let's look at our instructions. Remember, we're no longer using that them there vertical number line. All right? So, let me the volume down. I got friends that love text. Okay, round to the nearest thousand. Let's just go right down the line here and put a little underline under the thousands, okay? Right? Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. So where would we round 5,300 to? Well, think about the midway point we know is 500, right? So this is less than 500, so I'm going to put my zeros there, because those don't matter. And is this going to stay a 5 or a 6? Well, they do kind of matter. Of course it's going to stay a 5, because 300 is less than 500. So it remains a 5. Let's go over here. We have 4,500 and... 4,589. Well, is 589 greater than 500, the midway point? Yes, it is. So I'm going to do my zeros, my comma. And this is not going to go down to 4 because it's closer to 5,000. So it'll shoot up to 5,000. Here we have 42,099. Well, 99 is much less than 500. So this, of course, would be rounded to 42,000. And over here we have 801,504. Well, remember, the midway point in the thousands is 500. Is that greater than 500? It's 504, not much greater, but it is greater, so we would round up to 802, and notice after the thousand place, zero, zero, zero. Explain how you found your answer to part D. And here's D right here. So we could say 504 is greater than the midpoint of 500. So we round it up. It's only four greater, but it's still nonetheless greater than 500. 500 is the midway point in um, uh, the thousands column, so we round up. Let's go over here. It says round to the nearest 10,000. And I'm going to go ahead and underline my 10,000s. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and one tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, okay? Then hundred thousands. But we're rounding to the nearest ten thousands. Twenty-six thousand. Well, is twenty-six thousand closer to twenty thousand or thirty thousand? Well, it's six away from twenty thousand, right? But only twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, four thousand away from thirty thousand, so we're going to round up to thirty thousand. All right, let's go over here. 34,920. Is this closer to 30,000 or 40,000? Well, remember our midway point would be um, 5,000 when we're talking about the 10,000s. So this is less than 35,000, so we would round down to 30,000. Over here, we have 789,000. Okay, is this going to be closer to 90,000 or 80,000? In this case, 790,000 or 780,000? I think you know the answer to that when you can see that 789 is pretty darn close to 780. So this is going to be 780,000. We we'll go over here to 706,286. This is kind of a tricky one here, isn't it? Because we have 706. Oh, wait, Mr. Leggett. I'm sorry, guys. Let's go back to this one. This would be... So close to 790,000. It's been a long day. All right, let's go over here to 706,286. Well, is this greater than 5,000? You bet it is. It's 6,000. And 5,000 is the midway point when we're dealing with the 10,000s. So we would round up on this to 710,000. And that's what we do. All righty, let's continue on. 
Explain why two problems have the same answer. Write a num another number that has the same answer when rounded to the nearest 10,000. So why does A and B have the same number uh, answer? Well, look. Look how different the numbers are, 26,000 and 34,920, but they both round it to 30,000. That's because, let's do it, 26,000 is greater than the midpoint. And it's really important to write this down too so you really understand it. And you can always pause if I'm going too fast. So 26,000 is greater than the midpoint. Over here, hmm, 34,000, 920 is less than the midpoint. And then they want us to write a number that has the same answer as 30,000. Well, why don't we take it easy on ourselves and just do 29,999, and that would also be uh, 30,000. We'll round it to the nearest 10,000. Okay, we're going to record to the nearest 100,000, okay? So let's go ahead and underline all the 100,000s, place values, eight, eight, seven, and nine. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. Remember, in the hundred thousands, the midpoint would be 50,000, right? So is this greater than 850,000 or less? It's less, so we'd round down to eight, and everything else is going to be a zero. Over here, 850,471. Is this greater than 850,000? 50, it is. It's 471 greater, so we would round up. This would become a nine. Everything else is a zero. Let's go over here to 761,004. Well, remember, five is our kind of magic number there. If it's five or more, this is going to go up one, and everything else just becomes zero. So it's 800,000. I wonder if they're all going to be 800,000. No. Let's go over here. 991,965. This is 91 away from 900,000, but only 9,000 away from what number? Well, think about 9, go up 1, it'd be 10, and that would be 1 million. All righty. Explain why two problems have the same answer. Write another number that has the same answer when rounded to the nearest 100,000. I'm not going to do that. I think we've done that enough. So let's go ahead and flip the paper over. Because I'd like to get to some of these um, uh, word problems. Because they really get us thinking. Okay? So we have solve the following problems using pictures, numbers, or words. So we can use pictures, numbers, or words. All right. The 2012 Super Bowl had an attendance of just 68,658 people. I'm going to underline that and circle the number. If the headline in the newspaper the next day read, about 70,000 people attended the Super Bowl, and I'm going to circle 70,000, how did the newspaper round to estimate the total number of people in attendance? Well, let's in this case put write down the number 68,658. And we're going to round it to 70,000. So what place value did that newspaper use to round? Did they use the ones, the tens, hundreds, thousands, or the ten thousands? So think about that. If you said the ten thousands, you're absolutely right, because 68 is closer to 70 than it is to 60. More Super Bowl questions. The 2011 Super Bowl had an attendance of 103,219 people. I'm going to circle that. If the headline in the newspaper the next day read, about 200,000 people attended the Super Bowl, what? Is the newspaper estimate re uh, reasonable? Use rounding to explain your answer. Well, how in the world could this newspaper put 100,219 people is equivalent, or rounded, excuse me, not equivalent, to 200,000? Obviously, they were trying to round and there is 100,000, but they did a terrible job, didn't they? Isn't this closer to 100,000? Yeah. So the newspaper's estimate is not reasonable. The estimate, estimate, is not reasonable. And that's a word we're going to be using a lot of as we do math. It 
should read about 100,000. That's a much better estimate. 100,000 dot, dot, dot. We won't bother writing the rest. All right, we're going to continue on with the next one. According to the um, problems above, about how many more people attended, oh, I'm going to circle how many more people, about how many more people attended the Super Bowl. Oh, we're out of time. Let's just get this one real quick. Quick, in Super Bowl in 2011, than they did in 2012. Round each number to the largest place value before giving the estimated answer. Well, we already did that. So our estimated answer, we're going to round this to 100,000, the 2011 game. And the 2012 game, we already rounded to 70,000. And it gives us a chance to do some subtraction. 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0. Bring down the comma. 0 minus 0 is 0. Can I take 7, zero, seven from 0? Nope. I have to go like this. Now we have uh, 10 10 thousands minus 7 10 thousands, 8, 9, 10. So we get an answer of 30,000. So about 30,000 more people attended the 2011 Super Bowl than the 2012. I hope you enjoyed the lesson, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, dames and caballeros. Um, you're going to be logging on to Zern until 1030. So that means you're going to have to look at the clock and know when it's recess at 1030 and then take your recess. So you're not going to come back to Google Class. You're going to Zern. Thank you.